Hi Crystal Souls, hope you're doing amazing today. For this pick a card, I'm going to be painting with you your fate. If you're looking for personal guidance and if you need clarity on a situation, as you may know, you can find all the information down below so you can book a reading with me. And of course, you can find all my social medias down below if you are interested. And if you're new, make sure to join our beautiful family and subscribe down below. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited. I'm going to present you this amazing platform right away. And also, let's get ready for your reading. Let's go. Skillshare is a wonderful platform where you can find a lot of different classes provided by professional artists and creators. On their website, you'll be discovering so many valuable lessons touching on topics like design, fine art, photography, creative writing, music, freelance, and more. As an artist, I'm always searching for new techniques and mediums to extend my own palette so I can express my creativity fully. I've been interested to learn more about coloring lately and how to create an atmosphere with colors to complement each other. And the class I took from Victo is so informative on that topic. It taught me how to look at colors as a whole so I can create the most perfect combinations. So if you're starting and want to perfect your craft, Skillshare is perfect for you. It is also very affordable as you can get an annual subscription for less than $10 a month. Plus the first 1000 people to click on the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So make sure to take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Let's now continue with your tower reading. So here is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. When you are ready, you can find a timestamp in the comments down below. I'm also going to be using different techniques today, like the painting technique, charms, stickers, messages, and also the crystal ball to see a vision for the future. So now if you need to pause the video and meditate, please do so. So pile number one, let's see your fate. So the first one is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is related to making a change, making movement, so saying goodbye to the things that are not serving you anymore. You know, all these broken cups do not bring them with you. There is something new that's meant to be starting and this is something that you need to kind of protect as a baby because you can see the baby octopus on this card and this is showing you that you know, this newborn is meant to be protected, but right here, he is actually alone. So that shows you are able to grow alone, you are able to make wonders on your own. I feel for some of you, you may feel like I have to have company or I have to have support in my quest so I can be achieving something big. But right here, this is showing you that no, you can actually manifest anything that you desire alone. You have the power to do that, okay? And when you believe and see your strengths, this is what is going to lead yourself towards the best direction. But right here, be aware, you may feel alone, you may feel like you have no support, or you may not feel understood by people. And that's fine because this is building yourself. So you can be strong to make a transition. If you do not feel supported and loved by the people around you, be aware you'll be meeting the right people, okay? But first, you will have to say goodbye. You'll have to transition towards this new chapter because I feel this is what is going to lead yourself towards the best direction. Eight is about reflection as well. So if you feel the time, like if you feel very inspired these days to meditate, to reflect, to think, to plan for the future, then do so because that is going to allow yourself to have this big vision for you to lead yourself in that direction, but also for the universe to understand, okay, what can we manifest together? right now for you. Okay, so this vision, this plan is going to be very important for your future and your fate. Oh, I mean, I, <laughs> I'm i discovering the cards with you again, so I'm like, yes, because I talked about this. If you feel you are not with the right company, you are not with the right people around you, that's okay because this is going to this is going to change. This is going to change because all these broken companies, you are now going to be led towards something a lot more rewarding, a lot more beautiful. This is about friendship and celebration, having a good time with the right people. So these connections with the chains you can see on the card, they are going to change your life. They are going to allow yourself to feel more strong. So that's why this moment alone or where you feel alone, even though you may have company around you, this moment of loneliness is actually what is going to allow yourself to be directed towards the right people or the right things in life because 
this can also be celebration. So something you are wanting, something that you are looking for to implement into your reality, which is part of fate. I'm also seeing this as soul family coming together. So you may meet a lot of amazing people. If not soul family, this is actually people that actually resonate with your energy, have the same type of personality or the same vision with the projects that you have, the thing that you love to do. So that's why you feel you will feel a lot more recharged in these type of connections with these people. And three is about growth and evolution. So I'm telling you this change, this redirection, is going to lead yourself towards the best things. But maybe right now you feel like you have lost everything, nothing is really working for you, but actually this is necessary. This phase is necessary for you to lead yourself towards what's best. Because the Five of Pentacles is related to some type of lust, stagnancy, not knowing what to do, not knowing how to remove yourself from a situation or from something that's difficult. With the tattoos, I'm saying down, so you may be feeling down and you can see lost right here. But this monkey is showing you the way. The monkey is showing you that there is something exciting. It's just that you're not seeing the possibility or you're not really seeing this in a situation. And it's time for you to remove yourself from this, I think that's especially related to the way you see life, the way you see situations or relationships. And now you can see if you look around, if you look behind you, you have opportunities. People want to be with you. They're telling you, join us. And that's, that's what we talked about with the Three of Cups. So just be aware, I feel like you are meant to be recognizing right now, okay? What are the possibilities for me? What, what are the options? So I can be now transitioning and not feeling down and drained anymore because that's not what I'm meant to be building. You can see the bricks appearing here with a wall. So that shows there is something to build right now. And that's something different. Five is about change. Five is about creation and magic. So that's what you are going to be building in your reality right now. Okay? And with... Him being hurt, I'm seeing this as an handicap. So you can be the one that's actually seeing a reality with limitation. You can be seeing things as an handicap, but this is actually going to lead you, like I said, in the best direction. So try to see this as a new opportunity instead. Mm, yeah, there, there are some trials, some papers here throw on the floor so this could be related to projects or things that didn't work for you but it's fine because like i said that's purposed that's a new opportunity for you a new chapter the emperor that's why i'm telling you that loss is temporary this is not meant to stay you are meant to be allowing yourself to experience something new the emperor is for me a leader that someone is going to build something strong and structured for his life and everything he will experience is something that is going to make this person even more grand, grand and more powerful. So the emperor is meant to be doing something they love to do. You can see the feathers appearing and the feather is actually the symbol of passion. Anything you desire to be welcoming into your life, this is what you're meant to be welcoming and amplifying as well. I'm seeing freedom with the wings appearing. Um, this is Aries energy, so Aries are very courageous, they're bold, they're strong, so that's the energy you need to use. The eagle is appearing, which is a symbol of power, and this is a symbol of fate as well. Fate, but also past life. It could be related that, you know, in this lifetime, you made a contract, a soul contract with yourself, and you came here for something big and grand, which I think is part of destiny. And this is why you are meant to be exploring different things. Some things may not work for you, which is purposed. So you can be redirecting towards something that is going to allow yourself to feel more powerful and to feel recharged. So explore, okay? Do not limit yourself. Do not feel like, because I tried something and this doesn't work, I'm doomed or nothing is going to work for me. It's not the case. Now it's time for you to see the possibilities. Now it's time for you to redefine that destiny and fate so you can be directed towards something that's gonna be grand because this crystal ball is not just shining this one is in flame so the flame is about energy activation and passion 
And because this is blue flame, I'm seeing this as healing energy. But also this may be some activation in the throat chakra. You are meant to be communicating something or be doing something that communicates to your soul. Let me just shut the, um, the shutters because the light is a bit disturbing. Okay. A lot better. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the next card is appreciation. So like I shared, you need to be grateful. You need to find appreciation in all the things that you experience and in all the things you experienced before, okay? So in my opinion, that's telling you what's coming, you will love it. You'll love it and you will appreciate it. You will also find a strength because I feel like you've been through a lot, to be honest. And now you are redirecting yourself towards something beautiful, towards something that is going to give you power and that is going to bring meaning into your life. And I'm sure you know exactly what you want. So work towards that vision so you can appreciate but also grow this beautiful garden. And the garden can also be a symbolic of abundance growing things into your life, experiencing something that is going to connect with abundance, especially. As for the colors I'm seeing, I'm seeing green and pink. Green is related to anything that you love to do. That's the heart chakra. So anything that you love to do, that's the direction. As for pink, I'm seeing this as connection with your friends, but also innocence and childhood. So maybe that's communicative with what you are meant to be doing, what you're meant to be building for your future. Look, we have the door to romance. So this is also part of fate. You are meant to be directed towards the one you love, but also towards the thing that you love to do. There's one cage and one keyhole. In my opinion, that's related to you having to find the key so this door can open for you. If you're still searching for what you love to do, if you're still searching for the one, then that is telling you to work on that transition so you can be led towards the one or towards the thing that you love to do. But there is some type of blockage. Oh, sorry about this because you have the key right here. So that door is presented to you. I feel that's because your angels, your guides, they know that you are ready for what is coming your way. So open this one, enjoy this one. The water is cool on this card, so that shows peace, harmony, and stability. Everything is still, which is supporting that transition. Um, and you can see again the green. <laughs> so that shows, you know, there are greener, greener grass beyond that experience or that stagnancy. Maybe that's something that is happening or that will happen for some people, but that is a part of that transition. So be aware, anything that is a bit challenging, anything that may be a block or seems like it is actually not. That is a transition. This is for you to be aware. Oh, wait a second. This is not connecting to my vision and my energy. So I'm receiving these signs so I can transition, so I can welcome something new and build something new as the emperor. Because I'm powerful enough to live the best reality and the best things in life. So of course, I'm only going to be opening doors that are going to be bringing love, excitement and power into my life. As for the numbers, I'm seeing three again appearing. One and five. One is a new beginning. Five, we talked about this, creation, change. Even on the microphone, I saw 15 and zero and one. So definitely a new beginning, a reset in the energy so you can be led towards something new. As for the next one, confrontation. And this is not a bad thing because this is going to allow yourself to recognize your power. This, this is actually a scene from Harry Potter. Wow, maybe that's a sign for you guys. Be aware, something is coming and that's rushing into your reality. But yeah, that's a warning, I believe. There will be some type of confrontation. Rather, it's with a person. Rather, it's you uh, having to face some type of reality or a part of shadow of the self so you can free yourself from this one. Because the light will always win, okay? Because you choose it. Because you choose the light. You do not choose that fear or darkness. It's time for the new, it's time for you to experience something exciting. So you'll be winning, okay? So you are being 
confronted to that reality that may not be the one you actually enjoy so you can recognize what you want. Or that can be with a relationship. You can be having arguments with maybe your parents, maybe your mom, um, maybe your dad and these are actually making you recognize what you want to become, who you truly are in the essence and where your ideas are not, are not aligning with each other, which is fine because everyone has their own reality and everyone is choosing what is right for them to experience and what is going to empower themselves, okay? So everything that they're choosing and spreading as a message or as what is right, then that is what is right for themselves. And when you do not react and understand, yes, that's the best thing for them, then you can celebrate it even though you may not share the same perspective. So maybe that's what this God is talking about. If you feel you have some confrontation or you are having to recognize there's something in your reality that is not really in coherence with what you want, then that's telling you to readjust and to shape that form and magic towards something new. Tournament. But this can also be related to what you love to do. Um, maybe that's some part of, I don't know, tournament and some type of trophy you can gain or win after this one. Let me see. There's some type of letter, something you may want to write in. Like, I think that's connected to your fate. Mm, and in Harry Potter, this is like tournaments with the wizards. So the one of them that is actually the best is going to win the trophy. And so the winner can actually be part of history, right? So in my opinion, that's related to what you are um, going to be experiencing. Everything that may be challenging yourself and redirecting yourself is leading you towards something that will feel like you are changing the story of your soul or actually writing a new page in your soul's history. So be aware of this. I feel like that tournament or that, I think that can be a challenge as well. Um, or maybe there's some part of project that is very important and you'll feel like I have to compete or I have to be better than another group or another person and that is what is going to show yourself who you truly are but also your potential because you can be the winner right here and I feel like you will be the winner. So let me see if I see some hints. Um, there are some letters. I'm seeing vision with the eyes. This can also be a part of like feeling invincible with the skull appearing and with the mermaid egg that can be something that is talking to your soul with the egg that's a symbol of a new birth a new beginning this also represents for me the world card there's some part of completion with a cycle of life so you are transitioning towards something that feels like a new life which is why you could see the baby octopus on this card so this one is going to be the big symbolic of your fate which is love love power with the crown I mean you could see the Emperor so yes you are meant to be feeling powerful you are meant to be doing something that you love to do with excitement never 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 stop yourself to experience what you love to do or to start a new relationship because you love someone even though you've been through a lot even though this is not the easiest road for you always follow love because your heart knows better so these will be messages from your angels. So first we have spread your wings. And I love that because this is what you're meant to be doing. This is kind of like, you know, with um, the baby octopus, you can see this one as a baby bird. In the beginning, you feel very afraid to take the leap of faith so you can be flying for the first time. Yes, this is not going to be... <laughs> as easy to process it but there is a part of excitement because when you will know how to fly your life is going to change you'll feel more free and excited you'll feel more um, powerful to be traveling and transitioning towards new things so this is exciting for you so for the message do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar okay so let's go that's the perfect time and I talked about this baby bird, I swear, I have to look at the cards with more, <laughs> with more attention. You can see this one next to you. Okay, so you are not alone here. Everyone is going through that transition multiple times in their lives. 
and I'm sure you experienced that before. So that's telling you you are capable to make that transition. So take the leap of faith. Divine order. And we have the scale here. So that shows there is some type of balance that's needed into your life. So for the message, everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. See past the illusion. I love that because we talked about the perspective you may see it can be difficult. But if you see the possibilities instead and see that this is happening for you and not against yourself, that is going to allow yourself to redirect. Okay, so let's see one message, more messages. Okay, <laughs> I'll take these. The journey is long, the journey is hard, the journey is worth it. Maybe when the time is right, you will find me again. So maybe there's a connection with someone that you're waiting for. Try not to forget me. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the grass is greener. Oh my God. Where you water it. I talked about this. The greener grass. I swear this is crazy. I'm even... I'm even blown away myself. The grass is greener where you water it. Okay. Wow. Okay. I need to breathe. <laughs> anyway, so let's move on with the next techniques. I think I'm going to see the vision first um, in the crystal ball. So let's see what's coming for you. Connected to your fate. Oh, I saw one angel appearing, opening the wings. So I guess that's also related to a need of freedom right now. And you are accompanied. Be aware you are not alone in that journey. And if you need help, your angels will always help you to transition. So you are accompanied, you're strong, and you can make the transition to find more freedom. That's the big message here. Okay, so moving these aside, I will be starting... Oh, let's start with a painting, actually. So let's use the painting technique first. So hopefully that work. Because this paper is a bit like I've been trying and... Let's see. Okay. Yes, it should be fine. Awesome. So let's see your fate. And if you see anything... Don't be afraid to share this in the comments. Okay, so right away, I'm seeing a flying beetle. The beetle is a symbol of change. Change, transition, also strength because they actually push heavy balls of dirt if you saw them before. So that can be talking about your strength. You may actually not see that you are that powerful but now it's for you to recognize you can do wonders and you have the power to keep going i'm seeing b four b four and i'm seeing four k maybe that's a goal maybe to actually gain like four k dollars per month or every week it all depends which goal you have before mm, maybe before is related to the past so try to see instead of actually writing a story based on your past on your past try to see what is coming next for you so let me see if i see anything i'm seeing one hippopotamus i think that's how you call it um, and this is for me the symbol of strength again I'm seeing W here, so that can be about being the winner. I'm seeing S, so that can be spirituality, soul, or anything you love to do, starting with an S, or maybe someone. Oops. And this is all I'm seeing here for this painting. So let's move on with the next techniques. So I'm going to be using this grid and the charms. So one felt this is sure, idea, love. 
and that can be you using your ideas, like anything you are inspired about, and doing the things you love to do. As for sure, it's about being sure of what you want. I heard journey for this. This can be journaling or journal if you want to be a writer, that can also be a message for you. I heard mastery for this one or being a master. Okay, so let's see what is coming for you related to your face. We have photography, by the way, so that can be something you want to do. Or maybe picturing the future may help you to manifest what you want. When I'm seeing the cord, I'm thinking of gold. Just like in Pocahontas. Like, that's the only gold we have. And this is already the gold, right? So that can be related to more money, more abundance, something nurturing coming your way. This is related to any type of passion that you have. We talked about this with the feathers um, and with the emperor as well. So being cheerful, your energy is very important when manifesting your fate and destiny. That is asking you to see things from above, from a higher perspective, to take a new direction. And this one is going to lead yourself towards the sun. The sun is about joy, success, happiness. And with a thunder, this is like... Um, I mean the lightning. The lightning is something that is coming without warning. So that is something that is coming for you and this may be instantaneous. So that can be success, that can be more money, that can be because you are cheerful then you manifest cheerful people into your life and this is something you are not expecting. This is some type of miracle happening. Your angels are here for you. I mean I saw that in the crystal ball. Mm. This is success for me, and in this one I'm saying just for you. So that success is just for you to experience. Stick to the things and to the people that are right for you. Or well, that can be sticking to a new direction, because I'm seeing some type of transition and travel, which is, I think, what was the big message of this reading for this group? And doing the things you love to do. This is very important. So let's conclude the reading with the stickers. So let's see your fate. Okay. Yes, there's something you need to be writing at the moment. There is love, as you can see. There is someone that is sending love to you at the distance. I'm seeing growth, maybe music, maybe something you want to be doing. Miss you too. Let me, let me see. Because <laughs> I feel like some may be connected. Because this is all about love, feeling good. Mm, the cat. The cat is for me to protect her, so feeling more protected. This can also be some type of medicine. Maybe this is what you want to do. Maybe that's your passion. Uh, with the ice cream, this can also be opening an, a, a restaurant or nurturing yourself. Mm, or summer season, maybe something, a season that's important. I love that. Because it's like you recognizing your power and being like, yes, I'm a star and I'm meant to be shining. So I'm going to see myself like as a higher person or as someone that is more important. Because you put yourself on that stool, kind of like a pedestal. I love this. Okay, so we have high, definitely love in the air. I mean, <laughs> you can see it. Nostalgia. So you can be missing this person. Because we have miss you too and nostalgia. Or missing something, if not someone. But this person may be coming back to you. And if you want to know maybe more information about this person, because I feel like that's this person communicating with you. Um, I have a lot of different readings, like love readings, so maybe that's going to help you with that situation. No problem. I feel this is a person that is here for you, wanting to be spending more time with you. Maybe shy, you know, so they, this can be someone who is in and out or not sure they really have a chance with you, especially. That's what I'm getting here. There is some type of, I don't know, maybe arguments went like happened before and now you just i'm not sure i want to reconnect with this person but i feel like this is gonna be the right person for you 
If not a past person, then maybe there is some type of inner conflict. Do you feel ready to be in a relationship? Um, do you feel like you can offer enough to someone? If not, then you have to do the inner work to heal yourself and to be ready for what is next for you. Keep calm and find your road is especially related to what you want to be doing and who do you want to become and which direction you want to take. Because, you know, with the question mark within the person, it's maybe related to like who you truly are as a soul perspective. What am I supposed to do? Which road is, is right for me and which is best for me? So this is all I'm seeing here for you. I hope you like this one. If you do, please claim it in the comments so you can welcome this beautiful energy for your fate. And if you know, make sure to subscribe to my channel and join our beautiful family down below. I will see you on the next one. Take good care of you. Bye-bye. So pile number two, let's see your fate. Okay, so first we have the Page of Pentacles. I love that because that shows you will get a new opportunity, you will get chances so you can be successful, so you can be seen, so you can feel like you are supported. Because you can see all the links, the cords, and you are holding them. So that shows you are supported and supporting yourself maybe what is actually going to be happening. So more money coming your way, more support, more amazing people, more amazing experiences. All of that is coming your way. Um, what I like also is that you can see the fruit appearing, which is also the symbol of abundance, growth, expansion, developing. So this can be what is coming for you with your fate, especially with your career, or that can be with your studies. So more amazing grades, for example. This can also be succeeding at maybe some exam or something like this. Um, and you are supported here, but you also have to be aware that this strength and this support is coming from yourself. So the moment you see that you're capable of something beautiful and something grand, then you will be transitioning in this new direction because the page is always offering a new opportunity something fresh something new something exciting which is more related to the material world on this card which is more abundance money support um or friendship and connections around yourself and we have the lover so you are meant to be with someone who is connected to you there is part of fate i mean the lovers are Fated to be together. This is part of destiny. As above, so below. With the triangles, up and down. So there is a part of completion in this relationship. The sun is shining and the moon is within it. So that shows this union with this person. So masculine and feminine energy. It doesn't have to be just masculine and feminine. Um, so these two energies are going to collaborate together, match each other perfectly, which is why you are being directed towards this person. For example, if you have been dreaming about someone or if there is someone into your life that you feel very connected to, like you think of the person and then they text you or like you go somewhere and then you meet this person out of the blue, this can be because there is a part of fate. So if this is happening, connect with this person, entertain this connection and this beautiful bond because this is beautiful and I think this is going to change your life, to be honest, because there is something connected to destiny that you two are meant to be exploring together. I mean, yes. Because <laughs> we have the Wheel of Fortune, so that is all about destiny and fate. What I'm especially seeing here there's some dualism with the colors and even with the color of the sky. There's a part of darkness so you can experience clarity. And I think there is like two entities shown in one face. So that can be the person you are going to be manifesting into your life as a lover. Maybe that's someone that is completing yourself, completing your soul, um, or someone that is in your soul family at least. Because this is part of destiny, so that means there is a part of soul contract connecting the buff of you, which is why you could see all the links, red links, red ties, because this is you two being connected. It's funny how I talked about this in my Instagram story yesterday, because, I mean, that's appearing here and here with the ties and cords. Um, I was talking about how 
when you connect and bond and meet someone, whether it's not 3D or in other dimensions, so in astral realms or even on the internet, then you create a bond with a person, which is why you may be dreaming about them or getting information from your guides or from their soul's um, embodiment. So they can be communicating with you and wanting you to pay attention to something, maybe connected to them or connected to your journey. So I feel like that connection is going to be just that powerful. There's something hypnotic right here. So that can be related to something that is always on your mind. Always, always something that seems to be coming back. Rather it's a person, maybe that's related to what you want to build with your career or studies. Anything that is hypnotic to you, that's something you need to give power and definition to because that is about to happen. 10 is about completion, by the way, all the cycles of things. So there is something like that happening or will happen in your journey very soon because this is going to redirect yourself towards something that's meant to happen in this life. This is something you cannot run away from, to be honest, because that's meant to be happening. This relationship, but also this success that you will manifest, this opportunity you will give to yourself, you are meant to be bringing that into your reality and experiencing this with excitement. So welcome it. And I mean, this is so connected because the nine of wands is everything connected to what you wish for, everything you want to accomplish, anything you desire into your life. The ones are connected to magic to me. So you are meant to be bringing magic. So that can be that relationship. It can also be bringing more magic into your life so you can experience it. So maybe some soul awakening. I'm seeing someone laughing in the moon as a figure. So maybe that's about bringing more joy, excitement into your life. With the reader on the background and the mountains. For me, the mountains are related to our grounding energy or need to be grounded a lot more. Um, but this is also related to you feeling grounded. And this is what is bringing more abundance and security and balance into your life. So that may be what this, uh, what is about to manifest into your life. And with the reader, it's about calmness, finding more peace, clarity, things being more easy, especially for you. And with the stars appearing, I feel like you are being guided towards something which is bringing you excitement. Or there is a part of when you picture yourself being there or just experiencing what you want, you feel so energized by that, which is what you are meant to be following right now. And the, the reader, as you may know, is following a path calmly. So that can also be related to you experiencing something that's going to be easy for you. Or everything that is easy is actually what you master and you are meant to be bringing more power into it. With a dragon appearing, I'm seeing this maybe as a spiritual teacher. Maybe there's someone that is playing a big inspiration in your journey, um, helping you to awaken your soul's desires or your soul's knowledge and wisdom so you can be building something beautiful. There's the full moon appearing here. So maybe something is going to happen, especially related to the cycles of the moon. Because we talked about the cycles with the Wheel of Fortune. So maybe that's something related. Or the cycle of life. Maybe, maybe there's a new chapter for you that you are meant to be starting at the moment. The sun. I love this because this was announcing a new opportunity. And then you see yourself creating yourself beautiful things. The sun is related to success, happiness, fulfillment, and you can see the cup underneath. And this one is full, my friend. So that means you are meant to be exploring and experiencing the best things in life. Right here, I'm seeing painting, writing, or maybe the story with a book. So that can be chapters of life, that can be different lifetimes or different teaching chapters into your life which led you in the best direction. She's holding the palette and it's funny how this, this reading is, I'm painting your fate with you, right? So I don't know, maybe that's related. Maybe you are a painter or that can be related to you having to paint your fate differently so you can experience that success. One is newness, new energy, new transition, something new happening. But this is also related to leader, and magic because the magician 
number one um, and leader energy is one so I think that's related to what you are meant to be exploring in this lifetime to be a leader to be the magician to be creating magic into your reality so you so you can experience the past magic and I'm saying t t t on the microphone so that's about union as well maybe that's what you want to paint into your life more love or the lover you are waiting for with the fish appearing, I'm seeing this as swimming in a new direction. And I think that's also the vibe I could see with the river. So something that is going to go smoothly or flow. There's a newborn, a baby here. So maybe that's related to, to you giving birth to something, a new project. Or if you are waiting for a baby, that can be announcing this for you. If you want it, of course. There is music with the instrument, a lot of flowers blooming, growing. So that is the energy. But the masculine may be also entering your life or awakening. The masculine is a doer. You know, I do things. I am capable. I am strong. This is all the things I heard for you. And with a bird in cage, that is asking to free yourself as well. So you can, so you can be experiencing brighter days and that success that's coming for you. Or this masculine entering your life if you are the feminine waiting for your masculine. Or well, the masculine waiting for the masculine, this can also be the case. Or if you want to be more powerful as the masculine. But of course, we both have masculine and feminine energy within, within ourselves. So there can be some awakening in the energy so you can be doing something with more power, courage and determination. The next one is victory. So you will be victorious. You will experience the best things in life. There's something golden which is in your hand, so in your hands. So that can be related to something you want to be building for your future, something you are mastering with your power and magic, like you could see, because all the ones were connected to your fingers. So this could be related to that energy, that manifestation, that magic is manifesting from you. This doesn't have to be always like the universe manifesting, or you know, we always try to picture entities helping us. But the thing is that creation starts within ourselves. And so when you understand this, you can manifest the reality that will be a lot more meaningful for you. So you can feel victorious and strong and peaceful. You can see she's relaxed right here. So that is also one emotion, a feeling that may help you to manifest that transition and that victory into your life. But something golden is coming. Stand up for what you believe. Stand up for what you believe. Okay, so do not do not feel like everyone around you knows better than you. Just stand up for what you actually trust, um, what you want to be experiencing. Not everyone is going to follow you. Not everyone is going to understand. And it's fine. Because in that transition, when you allow yourself to be transitioning from maybe that darkness or not feeling you know, I'm doing what I love to do or I'm not sure I have to do that thing or this is meant for me. But then when you find clarity in your mind and follow that vision, yes, not everyone is going to understand or follow that direction with you, which is fine because that is a new chapter and a transition and you will be led towards the right people when doing that transition. Cleverness. Okay, so you are clever enough to build that vision. You're clever enough to be experiencing the best things in life. So just allow yourself to be going in that direction. There's one pillar as well in the background. So you have to see yourself as that pillar. You have to see yourself as someone who is strong enough to be experiencing the best things in life. Support yourself and go ahead. The time. So the timing is perfect for you. Or maybe that's for you to take the time for yourself. Because I'm kind of seeing this, this card as the hermit. So Virgo energy. And Virgos are very clever, very intelligent. So maybe that's a period where you need to be awakening that Virgo energy within you. Okay? Which is about taking more time for yourself, finding clarity, insights, answers. So you can be led in the best direction and take the best path for you. 
But the timing may be right for you to make that transition because otherwise you wouldn't see that energy shifting and being designed into your reality at the moment. So now messages from your angels and guides. So first we have life with you. Take inventory of your life and resolve the change or heal anything that is imbalanced. And that's also what you could see with the masculine and feminine energy. There is a need of balance. And with the flame, this is something activating within yourself, which can be related to your passion or anything important for you. The flame. The S is appearing, so that can also be a soul calling. So review your life. What do you want to change? What do you want to shift? What is something you can be creating or implementing into your life right now? You can make it. This is in your hands, remember. And I mean, yes. Victory! <laughs> okay, so that is coming for you. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. This is your message. And again, there's a calling. So they are wanting you to pay attention. Everything is now aligning. Everything is changing into your reality. So you can be experiencing that victory. So let's see more messages for this group. Connected to your fate. Oh, we have a lot of them. <laughs> Live every day with intention. You always make me smile and horny. Okay, well. My grateful heart is a magnet to attract that attracts everything I desire. Everything you desire. Visualize your eye yourself and start showing up as her. Or him. Think it, want it, get it. I mean, this is so victory-like type of energy. Like, I can make it. I love it. To make each day count. Show me your smile. And we have beneath a fallen tree, perhaps. Ooh, maybe that's someone waiting for you. Beneath a fallen tree, perhaps. All right, so I'm going to be now moving on with the next techniques. So starting with, I'm going to start with the crystal ball first to see what is the vision for you connected to your fate. Oh, okay, so I'm seeing one arrow pointing up. So that can be a new direction. And this is also what you could see. Maybe this is showing you a compass, a new direction you need to follow right now. So you are being led in one direction. Maybe there is something in your mind, something you want to do, somewhere you want to go. And this could be telling you to go ahead because this is where you are meant to be going. So let's move on with the next techniques. Just putting these aside. Okay, so let's paint what's connected to your fate. This paper is... <laughs> this one is a bit weak, but hopefully it'll be okay. So let's see your fate. Oh, I love that because this is the chest area for me showing and this is kind of like a magic or a cord. So there's something connected to maybe your chest area, maybe you feel some energy within your heart space, which can be the cord and energetic cord we talked about with the lovers. Let me show you. So this is some activation in that chakra. So pay attention to your feelings, to your emotions. There's some type of transfer of energy, messages. So you can feel it and understand maybe how this person is feeling or maybe the message they want to transfer to you. This is kind of like a hard telepathy here, some transfer of energy. Um, I'm seeing H, F, four as a number. Four is about stability. This is the emperor energy, so that can also be leader or finding just more power and stability into your life. 
Mm, let me see. I'm kind of seeing one head of one elephant here, which is announcing success. This can be related to fortune and wisdom, but especially that. If you see anything, you can write it down in the comments so you can be helping people to see maybe more vision, symbolics, that can be helpful. So this is all I'm seeing here for this technique. So let's continue with the charms and then the stickers. Okay, so we have wish, week, China, maybe some maybe some place you want to explore. Reach idea. Okay. So I feel like you are meant to be wishing for something big. And this is actually connected to your vision as an idea. Or you may have a su like a super amazing idea you need to be manifesting right now. Um I E S V. So this can be initials. If you see something or something pops to you with V I, I heard victory again. And I heard essence for these two. But of course, this can be something very specific. You can also write it down in the comments so you can be helping people to see more things for them, for the group. Okay, there's a lot of things happening. We have two keys but also this bird in cage, which is showing freedom. So I feel like you are meant to be bringing freedom into your reality, which is your key. And the other key can also be the opportunity you bring to yourself, something you manifest for you. There's love right here. Maybe a new direction with the, um, the bike here. There's a new direction. And this direction may be your soul calling for it. Because we have the mermaid, and for me the mermaid is our soul's song, so the messenger of our soul. There's something connected to maybe a passion you had or some type of hobby, something you love to do as a kid. Or this can be announcing giving birth to a baby, I think we saw that on the other card, if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. <laughs> yes, on this one, you could see the baby. So if you are waiting for pregnancy, then that is what is coming for you. But also pay attention to your dreams as a kid. What were they? Because this can be communicative for what you are meant to be exploring as fate in this lifetime. Again, a new direction. Um, this can also be related to something opening up. Or maybe some type of like juicy thing you want to be drinking, let's say, for the future. Building something, or maybe Paris is a symbolic for you. The eagle is appearing. So that is a message from your spirit. Your spirit is wanting something, craving for something, which is going to empower yourself when you welcome it. The wings are open, so you need to be flying freely towards something new. There is love, success, the sun energy is here again. So yeah, I feel like you are meant to be exploring something that is going to lead yourself towards success. And that is going to manifest a lot of abundance and happiness into your life. So this is the big energy. And be aware you are supported by the universe right here. So let's see now with the stickers. What's connected to your fate? Okay, right away I'm seeing love. Everything will be perfect. It's okay. Trust the process. So here we see like couples coming together. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some fights, but also some love. There's music, you, aesthetic. So maybe you are doing something that's aesthetic, creative, something that is about to grow into your life. Um, maybe you're still at school and this is telling you to enjoy also this time at school, you know, enjoy the process, enjoy being with your friends, studying, being in that bubble because this is also very fun. Again, a couple enjoying some time, maybe going camping together. Someone wanting to be with you or trying to get your attention, like please, please, please. So they really want to be connecting with you at the moment. And this is to me a symbol of growth and love because you can see the shape of the leaves creating hearts 
and three, one, two, three, is about love. So in my opinion, that's growing more love or doing things that you truly love to do and expanded that energy into reality. But mostly it's about love, manifesting the one. They're targeting you. They want you. And everything is going to be perfect for you. This is your future. This is the energy. So I hope you like it. If you do, claim it in the comments. Welcome this while writing it in the comments. If you do, make sure to subscribe to my channel and join our beautiful family. And I will see you on the next reading. Take good care of you. Bye-bye. So pile number three, let's see your fate. So first... So we have the Seven of Swords. This one is related to maybe a sense of feeling persecuted, feeling like nobody or nothing is really working your way. And you are feeling tired of it. But now I'm seeing something changing for you. You know, that's behind the curtain. So that can be some attack that are not really um, something you can picture or something you can understand, like where this is coming or why this is happening. Or who is this person? Because that can also be some... You know, I'm kind of seeing this as people on the internet kind of making judgments about you or hurting you from a distance. But that's just their projection. It's not really about yourself. It's about them. Always. Everything people say is about them. That's their story. That's their limiting beliefs. And the rest is not really connecting with you and with your energy. So when you understand that, you can free yourself from that trap. With the mouse appearing here, this is about innocence. So you can be feeling like that. You know, I've been trying my best. I've been doing my best in these relationships or with everything happening into my life. But I don't know, something is just always trying to <laughs> challenge myself or make me feel a certain way. And let me tell you, this is meant to happen because this is building you. All these attacks or anything that is not working for you what seems to be like it because that's not the case, is helping you to see what is connected to your destiny. So if something is not working, if a relationship is too painful, if some attacks on maybe the internet are making you feel a certain way, try to ask yourself, what is this triggering within myself which is not healed? Because if you are healed, you wouldn't react too much to it because you know that this is just BS this is just their story and this has nothing to do with me, okay? So that's telling you to stop giving too much importance to what people say, what people do, because that's about them. And when you understand what is part of your destiny, then you can make the connection, then you can make the right transitions into your life. There is a connection here. As above, so below. We had the same energy on the, on the second group. This is crazy. So I guess there's something connecting all of you guys, which is why you may be watching this reading. There is a cosmos, some type of enlightenment. So everything that you feel the urge to do, anything that is inspiring yourself, that is in, in, on your mind especially, you are meant to see the connection. You are meant to be understanding, oh, well, that's really what I want to be doing. That's really what I want to be Pending in my reality as fate, as destiny. I want to be experiencing this. I'm ready for this. So the universe can be helping you. Because you are connected here, okay? So everything you wish for, anything you think about, is being delivered, is being printed. Thanks to the universe collaborating with you. Which is why everything you think of, that's giving it power. That's giving it energy. Okay, so... Try to work on your vision. Understand what you want to change, what you want to improve, what you want to welcome as something new. So you can be defining that new energy. The world is just in front of you. So you understand as a soul perspective, you came here on earth. You are not this human being. You are beyond it. And when you understand that power, you understand that everything is something you can change, something you can mold differently into your reality, into your life. And you are making that connection with your spirit and your higher self. So you can embody your higher self a lot more. And so experience the best reality 
in this human experience on Earth. There is a part of completion with the world appearing here. So I guess you are meant to be completing something connected to your soul's mission, to your soul's purpose. If you don't know what you are meant to be doing, maybe you are going to be directed towards it very soon. But I will suggest you to actually take a look at your path life number and soul urge number because they are going to be allowing yourself to know, okay, what is my bigger mission? What is the energy? What is my karma? So I can be working towards something that is actually going to be fulfilling for my soul with this earth experience. But I'm sure you know, everything you are passionate about, anything that is adding value and meaning into your life is pretty much your calling. And I saw 555. Five, five. 5 is about creation and magic. So yes, you are meant to be bringing magic into reality. And things will be big and strong. You are strong enough to manifest anything you desire. The Eight of Pentacles is showing to me someone who is successful and someone who is independent enough to make that success. You do not need anyone but yourself to be bringing the best reality and to be experiencing the best things in life. There's some motion here. So the wheel. Hmm. I mean, destiny is the wheel of fortune. <laughs> so, and I think this one popped in all all the groups so that shows yes there is part of destiny and you are awakening to the truth so you can be experiencing the best things and you have to put the hard work into it what you want to achieve is right at the top okay and there's a part of the process yes you want to reach the top but there is also some levels to it okay so keep going keep practicing so you can be seeing results manifesting into your life Eight is about reflection and meditation. So you need to sharpen your vision. You need to know exactly where you are heading, what you want to be experiencing. So you can be manifesting that vision clearly and with more ease. But of course, keep pushing, keep going. You are going in the right direction. The page of ones, yes. And the page is offering you a new opportunity, especially related to what you love to do, your passion. This card is especially related to originality. So if, you, if you've been persecuted because you've been different, because you are different, and that they cannot see the beauty in that, it's fine, because now you are seeing this for yourself. You being different, being unique, is what you need, is what you actually are meant to be in this lifetime, so you can be leading people. When you look at people who are famous, inspiring they're not just like everybody else they have this little spark this uniqueness about themselves which is what is making them special original and so they can be shining like that and you are just the same so see yourself as someone who has enough to give and this uniqueness is meant to be used so you can be experiencing the best reality but also I'm seeing balance, security, uh, I'm seeing equilibrium, so finding more, more balance into your life, but also within, and especially connected to your career and passions. If this is, if you are still studying, that can be related to your passion, anything that excites your soul, something that is important for you, something you envision for your future. Like, where do you see yourself in five years? Or where do you see yourself when you feel accomplished? That is your vision. That is the destination you are taking right now. Of course, if you follow your calling, if you understand that everything you possess has talents, skills, desires, excitement, this is all directing yourself towards something important, which is part of destiny. The garden and the gate. Okay, so there is a need to open up, to open that gate, so you can be led towards something new. You have the key around you as the necklace, so that shows you are capable to be opening a new chapter into your life, to be opening a gate that is going to lead you towards success, that's going to allow yourself to grow in the process, to expand, but also to experience something new. There's a path just behind it. So in my opinion, this is showing you, you have been mastering yourself or growing this inner garden, working on yourself. And now you are meant to be bringing all these grains and all the skills that you mastered while growing your own garden, so your skills and talents, 
So you can be bringing them and sharing them with the world, with the people around you. Which is why the gate is meant to be opened right now. Do not keep it for yourself. You know, sometimes I'm seeing amazing, like this can be an amazing artist singing beautifully, but because someone told them you're not good enough or um, I'm not liking your voice or I'm not sure you can make it, then they kept this talent hidden. This is not meant to be this way. If you're talented and if you believe you are and if you believe you can make something happen thanks to that talent, you will. But if you listen to the noise, whether it's in your mind or outside, with people or whatever you give power to and meaning to, this is going to block yourself. And I'm saying one, 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 which is new energy, leader energy. Allow this to happen. Okay? You can make it. Action. I mean, yes, you need to take action to make that manifest. And there is this duality appearing here which is also like as above, so below. There is a part of dualism and you need to experience that so you can build yourself, but also redirect towards what's right or what is more in coherence with who you are and with what you want to be experiencing. So take action. Stop putting limitations in your reality. The bird is flying freely on top and here you could see butterflies. Butterflies are representing change, transformation, rebirth. And the bird is about freedom. So you are meant to be running freely, feeling that excitement with this new adventure. Do not limit yourself. We have the barrier here and the gate closed. And this is just because you are allowing this to happen. You can break it down. You can open this with the key that you have. So stop limiting yourself. Take some action to free yourself and take some action towards what you want to achieve. What do you want to reach at the top? Wow, yes, see from above. Because the moment you see, wow, I'm capable to be doing this. I can make it. This higher view is what is going to allow yourself to know, okay, what is the next step? What can I do? Uh, what do I possess to be manifesting what I envision for the future. See from above. Do not see yourself as someone who's little. Again, we have the owl, the owl free, freely flying here next to the castle. So that's a beautiful view from here. Don't try to see that view from there. Like, wow, I'm underneath that pointy, awful sword. <laughs> but if you see yourself as the survivor, I can move ahead and be free from this. Then you will see things with a different perspective and with more power. Intelligent. So you are intelligent enough to be building that desired path, vision and future. She's holding the books as well and the books can be related to the story. So past stories, maybe there's a part of something related to past lives. Um, something connected to your mission as a soul in this lifetime. So a contract that you have connected to your soul, your entity, your higher self. And they want you to be now working towards it. You have everything that you need to be working on that vision. So keep going. And there's a window here. So that is something you envision. That is your perspective. And when you work towards it, then you can manifest this effortlessly. The loop. And you can see the infinite symbol, again, very connected to destiny. You are connected to what you want. But also I'm seeing this as a person that this time, that is this time to be in your life. There is a connection. But this is directing yourself towards something. Something you cannot resist. And which is why this may be always on your mind, always coming back. Even if you run away from this, even though you may not give yourself a chance to be experiencing this fully, this always come back. Like, why? Why are you not going in that direction? Why don't you give yourself a chance? Because this is meant to happen. So now messages from your angels and guides. First, we have courage. I love this because this is what you need to be pushing harder for you to be following what's right. 
So be courageous and stand up for what you believe, for your beliefs. That's the same. <laughs> and we have Leo's lion energy here. Lion and energy. So that is pushing you to be courageous, to be strong. Career transition. Yes, if you felt nothing was really exciting for you in your career or with your studies, then that can be telling you, okay, this is happening for you to make that transition. So your life purpose is triggering a blessing career change. It's time for the change. It's time for the new. And you are going to be feeling blessed and being blessed, experiencing what's next for you. So transition. If not a complete transition, this can be something that you may need to implement into your career to change so you can be experiencing something best. But this can be a change in your mindset, seeing more possibilities, seeing yourself as someone who is unique and beautiful. So let's see more messages connected to your fate. Yes, look, this, this game over is removed completely. That's not a game over, okay? That's a new beginning. So no, never, don't give up. As long as you keep on trying, you cannot lose. Press start to continue. Telling you. Own your story. Strong women don't have attitude, they have standards. <laughs> yes, they have. Standards. It's not about attitude. The best time for new beginnings is now. And we talked about this. Enjoy your special day. Live life in full bloom. Never stop looking up from above the grief became a prison yeah I mean maybe that's related but it doesn't have to be this way okay so let's move on um, let me see. yeah I'm gonna be starting with the vision in the crystal ball seeing what I have for you, what's coming for you. So let me see. I'm seeing a butterfly. So for you, it's all about transformation, transforming the energy, working on something different, working on a different reality, especially. So you can be experiencing something that is going to allow yourself to rebirth. So let's continue now with the painting technique. So something connected to your fate. What's your fate? Anything we need to know connected to it? So let's see. Oh, look at this. You can see a turtle in the middle. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, so the turtle is about protection, wisdom, and you are going to be leading yourself towards something new right now. So there's a new chapter for you, something that is going to be exciting for you to explore. And there's a lot of energy going on all around you. I'm seeing the loop again appearing, the infinite symbol. Hopefully you can see it. Um, there is the ray appearing the ray is connected to a destination from the soul and i think the turtle is also connected to that you are protected you will be achieving something beautiful something big so do not limit yourself i'm seeing b and i heard birth for this one mm, I'm, I'm kind of seeing this as a heart shape so i can be doing the things you love to do and if you see something by the way you can share it in the comments so we can be helping people to see more messages for the group. This can also be a mermaid because the more I look at it, I'm seeing um, the fiends appearing. 
So, like, if you cut it, you can see the fin. And for me, that is related to a new travel, a new direction. And we talked about career transition for this group. So this can be very connected to making a move in a new direction, allowing yourself to process. And so you can be experiencing what's destined to happen. Yes. I think this is all I can see for this technique. So let's move on with the charms and then the last technique will be the stickers. So we have a lot of letters. V A U Z O E A. So if you see anything with the letters we have Eva, so that can be a name. Mm, let me see. In Portuguese, this is voice. So maybe that's about using your voice, spreading your voice, spreading a message. I heard eternal. Aura. Oh, your aura. Maybe your aura is what is attracting people your way as well. Maybe your voice, maybe something um, that people compliment you about. I think that's especially the message. We have idea, sweet, and why. So maybe you are asking yourself, like, why, how to make it happen, or, or why this is not happening. And this is for you to work on this, because we have the tool. So fixing things. I feel like you are hanging on something, like you may hold on to something, which is not supposed to be this way. You're not supposed to be waiting for something or someone if it doesn't really move, if it doesn't really show you that can happen or this can be taking a new direction. Your angels are helping you to build something or maybe to, maybe to travel to Paris if you want to be traveling to Paris. We have I love my soldier. So maybe you are feeling like a warrior. Wow. And we saw this in the, I mean, I saw this in the crystal ball for you as the vision for your fate. So it, that is just so connected. Oh, I'm blown away. Like for each group, I'm like, wow, it's huge. It's big. So use anything that is inspiring for you. And this is what is going to allow yourself to experience something sweet. Anything you are excited about and thinking of this is your direction or you're being led in that direction so you can be building something beautiful for your future so let's move on with the stickers whoops so let's see your fate what you can expect the gas station maybe that's about buying a new car but i'm also seeing this as maybe having and being provided more energy to work on the things that are important for you something is about to unlock honestly these stickers i love them i'm really happy i bought them because they are very communicative all right oh something spicy <laughs> maybe that's about love manifesting someone who is very attractive you, you may have some like sexual energy awakening within yourself something like this we have a lot of statues so that can also be building molding something into your reality there's some type of glitch shift i believe mm, we have a lot of colors so that can also be changing colors shifting something the plants appearing so that can also be related to growth with all of that, it's growth, expansion, something blooming. Wow, again, a statue. Maybe Greece may also be some inspiring place for you. Because I'm seeing this. But this can also be art. We have the dancer right here. Maybe mastering something. Um, oh, and the statues represent Greek gods. So that can also be see yourself as a part of God. See yourself as the creator. We can do it. Anything you target right now for your future, you can do it. 
So this is your message, this is your rating. I hope you like this one. Claim it in the comments if you are excited for what is coming, for your future, and if you know, make sure to subscribe to my channel and join our beautiful family. I will see you on the next reading. Take good care of you. Bye-bye.